Welcome back once again, all of my low carb friends. And for those of you who are here for the first time, welcome. Today, I have a very easy recipe for you. Today, we are going to make very easy, simple keto flaky biscuits. These biscuits are flaky on the outside, but nice and soft and moist on the inside. They are super easy and very delicious. And if you want a printable version of this recipe, you can check out my website at JanetsDeliciousLowCarbKitchen.com. You can find a printable version of this recipe and other goodies there for you. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see lots of easy, delicious, low-carb keto recipes, make sure you click that subscribe button and click the notification bell that's right next to the subscribe button. That way you can be notified every time I put out videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And if you'd like to help support the channel, make sure you scroll down in the description of the video. You'll see some affiliate links. Anytime you purchase anything using those affiliate it links a small portion of your purchase will go to me and help support the channel. So while you do all that, let's get cooking. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Line a large baking sheet with parchment paper and set it aside for a minute. In a small bowl, combine one large egg and one tablespoon of water Use a fork or a small whisk and stir this all together until it's fully combined. You should have a smooth yellowy mixture. Then set it aside for a minute. In a large mixer bowl, combine 120 grams or around one cup of coconut flour, one gram or around one fourth teaspoon of salt, 15 grams or around one tablespoon of baking powder, four grams or around one teaspoon of xanthan gum, and if you want to, if you're sensitive to coconut flour taste, you can add some dry seasonings or dry spices or even a little tiny bit of granulated sweetener just to kind of balance out the flavor if you want to do that. That's up to you. Sift all the dry ingredients together until they're fully combined and there are no lumps in the dry ingredients. Add four large room temperature eggs. Make sure they are room temperature so they stir in more smooth. Stir the eggs into the dry ingredients until everything is fully combined and all the dry ingredients are moist. Add 3 fourths cup of very soft room temperature butter. Make sure it's just soft, not melted. You just want it to be soft enough to where you can mix it in smoothly. Stir the butter in until everything is fully combined and smooth. Add 60 grams or around 1 fourth cup of room temperature plain yogurt or sour cream and 2 ounces or around 2 tablespoons of warm water. Stir everything all together until it's fully combined. Once it's fully combined, give the dough a good stir for an extra 30 seconds or so. This is just to make sure that the xanthan gum is fully combined and that it starts binding all the ingredients together it will make for a lighter biscuit so you'll have a crusty outside but a nice soft smooth inside of your biscuit scrape down the sides of the bowl and push your dough to the center of the bowl then form the dough into a ball massage the dough in your hands for about one minute this is to make sure of the texture you want to make sure that all the butter is fully incorporated sometimes there's chunks of butter that like to hide you want to make sure that's nice and smooth in there you also want to make sure that your dough is sticking together well if it's crumbly then you need to add a tiny bit more water your dough should come together smoothly in a ball and you should be able to massage it without big chunks of the dough flaking off after you're done massaging the dough, return it back to the mixing bowl. And when it comes to shaping the biscuits, there's two different ways that you can do it. One is to roll the dough out to around a half inch thick and then use a two inch round biscuit cutter and cut the dough into individual biscuits. This will give you the most uniform size and shape of biscuits. But if you're like me and today I don't feel like rolling dough out, you can just Scoop it out about a fourth cup at a time. Roll the dough into a smooth ball. Make sure it is smooth. Key there. Then place it on your prepared baking sheet. Use your hand and flatten the top of the dough ball and shape it into your desired size and thickness. I usually press mine out to around a half inch thick. If you're one of those that wants a really thick biscuit, you can always press it out 
a little bit thicker. That's up to you how thick you want it. Keep in mind that coconut flour doesn't really rise or spread very much at all. So pretty much whatever shape and thickness that you press your biscuits out to be, that's pretty much what they're going to come out looking like once they're done baked. They do expand a tiny bit. They do fluff up a tiny bit, but not the way traditional biscuits basically double in size. That You're not going to have that here. Also make sure when you are placing your biscuits on your baking sheet that you place them around two inches apart because like I said, these do expand a little bit and they do fluff up a little bit. Once your biscuits have all been shaped and placed on your baking sheet, take your bowl of egg wash and brush just a light layer of the egg wash over the top of your biscuits. This is important if you want that light flaky texture on the outside of your biscuit. I really like that flakiness on the outside and then soft and fluffy on the inside. So you definitely don't want to skip the egg wash if you're wanting that flaky outside. Once your biscuits are all shaped and topped with the egg wash, then place the pan in your preheated oven and bake at 400 degrees for 17 to 20 minutes or until the biscuits are golden. For me, 20 minutes was perfect. As I always say, everybody's oven is different, so you're looking for the biscuits to be nice and golden on the outside. Once the biscuits are done baking, remove them from the oven. They will be a tiny bit soft, but they will firm up as they cool. So allow them to cool on the pan for at least 10 minutes so they can firm up. After 10 minutes, transfer them to a wire rack and allow them to cool for at least a couple more minutes just so you can make sure they're firmed up enough so that when you slice them, they won't fall apart. Once you are ready to eat the biscuits, slice them in half horizontally so you have a top and a bottom. Then you can fill them with butter, gravy, or any desired filling that you want, or you can just eat them plain. They're good just as they are. So you can eat these immediately. If you do have any leftovers, allow them to cool completely. Store them in an airtight container at room temperature for up to three days or in your refrigerator for up to one week. Eat and enjoy. And that's our recipe of the day. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to see more videos like this, make sure you click that thumbs up like button, click that subscribe button, leave me a comment if you want to. Let me know if there's any recipes that you'd like to learn how to make and I'll do what I can to get those out there for you. And as always, keep cooking.